Hello, welcome back to Life for Living Well. My name is Richard. I uh, will be your anchor for this week. Before I dive into the podcast for this week, I quickly would like to say if you'd like to know one, two, or one or two things about Life for Living Well, you can always check it out on our website at www.lifeforlivingwell.com. And if you also like to get the article that we post every week you can sign up on the email subscription and it's free and you will always get the up-to-date article that published on to life for living well website so let's get dive into it before without taking so much of your time so the topic i brought to you today is what i call invisible assets and the inspiration that taking today is from W. Clement Stone. And one of the quotations that I like most about his work is your most precious value possessions and your greatest powers are invisible and intangible. No one can take them. So and you and you alone can give them. You will receive abundance for your giving. So, give me your time. Listen to somebody that needs someone to speak to. It's a gift. Being decided, intentionally compassionate toward yourself and others is also a thing that you have to control about. Well, your money can be taken away, can be taken away from you, or you can give it away by yourself. The job you have today, you might not have it tomorrow. If the employer cannot pay you or, or, or for some reason, some physical infirmities, so many things that we don't have a control about, but we prioritize it a lot. And those are things that can be taken away from us without us knowing. Whether we like it or not sometimes. But this particular uh, topic this way, is simply focus on area that we don't try to stop and appreciate it or we don't make enough effort to actually develop it we put a lot of effort to develop the physical asset and sometimes we sacrifice the most important thing that we value more in our life you could be the person value family and relationship you are, but you never actually dare to enjoy it. Why? Because you're chasing and chasing money all the time. So you really struggle to find the balance when to when to create the resources to get the money for you and the time quality time you spend with your family. But this particular podcast is focused on invisible assets and it will become more unravel as i'm going through the podcast so just give me a little time i appreciate it and then i go through it so what about it what about invisible assets recently and especially now more emphasis has been placed on physical assets in our society in some culture you could be the most bad person the worst person character but if you have the money the society will put you on the best position in life they will look up to you they will honor you they will disregard all your bad behaviors they will only just focus on the amount of money you can offer some culture celebrate things like that but mostly almost everyone is one point try and value physical asset above a physical asset so more emphasis has been placed on physical asset why because of psychological emotional and mental needs often attached to it we feel terrible when there's no money in our hand we started worrying and thinking if this happens where am i going to get the money from Or if she left me, what's going to happen to me? Or my boss is treating me so bad because 
I am like this. But the virtues such as trust, honesty, dependability, friendship have been pushed aside. Even so, many people feel at ease and peaceful whenever they are fortunate to have met an individual with traits of honesty, sincerity, and friendship. We all want to spend time with someone like this. But these kind of assets, sometimes we don't value it like we should value them. Only when we meet someone that dodgy, calculative, exploitative, then we, 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 we blame ourselves that we are not smart enough to smell the shit from distance. So, philosophers have argued over the years what it means to have a friend. Aristotle wrote an essay about it. They debate, they have a dialogue, they listen on, on, the, on, on each other's view that what is friends. They the people that you spend or share activities with. Yes, there's a group of people belong to that kind of friendship. We also have another group of friendship that is so deep and it's not something that just happens suddenly. It's something that happens based on values that you share together. People you work with, it could be work or skills related that brought you together. People that you do activities to, it could be because of the passion and the love for the activities that brought you together. But also, there's also kind of friendship that you come together based on values. And these values are not physical assets, these are invisible assets. Today, people can trade on friendship for a piece of pizza, of course, on Facebook. But what about cancel culture. When you can suddenly delete a person from your contact list just because of who they are, society encourages confidence in us, but in reality, developing your courage is far better. Today, as society, we suddenly attach or attracted to someone that prostrate a confidence. Some confidence could actually be arrogant, but they prostrate confidence, and that is the person they want to listen and follow. But in reality, the confidence alone cannot keep you going because life challenges will throw itself into you. And sometimes your confidence will be shaking. Sometimes, occasionally, you will lose your confidence. You may have to do many work to regain it back because without confidence, you cannot actually step up. But the thing that will make you go far in life that will make you overcome so many challenges is the courage. And the courage is not the absence of fear. It's not the absence of setback. It's the ability to be persistent, consistent, and discipline yourself to keep it going. So you take courage. Actually, if you try something that you've never done before, you take courage. If you are not the kind of person, say hi to stranger that you met first time, it take courage for you to step out. So confidence may help you, but if you lose your confidence, it was impossible to do so. But courage, not necessarily that the confidence is there, but courage alone. With time we build your confidence. So, because there are many things in life that your confidence will not be enough for, you may face rejection, you may struggle with your inner critic, doubt may take control of your mind completely, and you may not be able to take up a new challenge. And um, prosperity, wealth, money come with a risk and if you are afraid of failure it is impossible to make a change or change your current situation in a long time because you're so afraid to do something new that you never done you just take say to just do 
what is common, what is relevant, what is you, what you know. But there's so many things that we don't know. I take courage to actually unravel it. But being courageous will help you take more risk and start a new project. Courage is not the absence of fear or doubt, but willingness to start. So even with courage, we have your fear. Even with the courage, you have your doubt. Even with the courage, you will question whether you should do it or not. But being courageous, this means that you just do it. Take a step of both. And if it doesn't work, you start another one. If it doesn't work, you try another one. Because with courage, you also come with the persistence and consistency. I've seen people forfeit opportunities and it's always baffled me when I say this because of lack of courage, not because of absence of confidence. I've seen people that have lost their confidence as a result of workplace politics, lack of progress and breakdown of relationships. So their relationship came to the end and they just distraught. They become very bitter in their life. And at the end, they sabotage themselves and every person that comes to their life to help them. They just totally become untrustful of people. They become more protected, they become more cagey. They couldn't let go of the wound and the pain. They couldn't take the lesson, the wound and the pain taught them. Maybe they are not so wise enough with their resources and time. Maybe they just give it to everyone because they don't feel good about themselves deep down that they deserve it. So every time someone asks for something, they don't really think about what they need. When they will need it, they just give it. And when their person took it and they don't return the same favor, they have so much resentment toward that person. If you are that kind of person and you listen to this podcast today, you have your healing right now is to change your mind change your behavior change the way you look at things and try but einstein said it is insanity to keep doing the same thing and expecting something different so you got to change it so lack of progress and breakdown of relationships this event could kill anyone's confidence but the only thing that will keep you going is the courage so for so long our society likely prioritized physical asset above intrinsic asset so what are the intrinsic assets these are the asset that is there but you cannot see but you can feel it. every one of us know there is a year outside we can breathe in but we cannot really touch it we can feel it, we can explain it. Sometimes we don't even notice, we just breathe. We only notice our breathing when we intentionally pause and just observing it. So, intrinsic assets such as honesty, kindness, courage, trust, relationship, and interdependence. Instead, many people define their self worth based on what they can earn. These are physical asset and it's necessary as well but we can have the both we can have the physical asset we can also have the invisible asset we can develop it because our invisible asset is already there but if we are not intentionally working on it we cannot become a predominant in our life as our job title as our qualification and became a become a dominant in our life Instead, many people define their self worth based on what they can have, such as title, homes, cars, partner, and many more things that I can go on and on and on. But you notice that every time any of these physical assets is taken away from them, whether through their in the, through their lack of wisdom or understanding, or through the economic crisis that go beyond their control they are get distraught they get distraught they lose themselves completely a man can lose all physical assets in one day such as beauty 
through the accident, earth to illness, and many life tragedies. Anything could happen. It happened to many people every day. It happened to people and it will still happen in the future. But only when one has worked to develop a natural invisible asset, only then can all his uh, physical asset be recreated in double or triple folds. So the thing that we recreate every physical asset that you lost is to make sure that your invisible asset is intact, is well solid. So having all those things will enable you to recreate them, to recreate them again. A person that's industrial cannot just stop not becoming industrial anymore. It's already there. So once one venture is full, they are eager and ready to start a new one. The person that is honest, the person that is trustworthy, it's so difficult for them to become dishonest, become distrusting in nature. It is not thing that they build themselves well. So, we are bringing it to, to the end now. So, what are you doing today to develop your invisible asset? So, these are the questions I want you to ask yourself as you listen to this podcast. Are you doing anything to develop your invisible asset? What is the invisible asset that you have that friends or family have mentioned as a quality that you don't really prioritize it? Have you done anything so far to continue to improve it and develop it? Because what you don't use, you're probably going to lose it or not be useful for you or anyone else. Often, society does not value invisible asset enough. Our natural instinct to compete and compare takes dominance on our personality. It should be a proactive and intentional action from our part to work on our invisible asset. We all have it. Lastly, as we bring in the podcast to the end, just want to, to throw this to you. If you ask five people in your cycle today, where do they see themselves in X month or X year? You'll be surprised that many of these people will point fingers towards some kind of physical asset. Oh, I want to travel over the world. I want to buy, I want to buy a new car. I want to buy a new home, I want to marry, I want to have a family, I want to change a job, I want to start my own business. And early could you find among them who like to be wiser, emotionally mature or truthful? It is not something that we prioritize or we think about that, oh, I would love to handle stress emotional approval better than the way I'm handling it is there any way or whatever tools what tools out there for me to work on myself to go out and seek for a professional help to help me I've got to prioritize my well-being and mental health we don't actually do that sometimes things are already late before we seek for help and that's why I like the uh, idea of MOT you don't necessarily have to wait until your car broke down. A certain time in a year, it depends where you listen to this. In the UK, a certain, part, a certain time in a year, you got to get a letter or certificate that shows that your car is roadworthy. You can just drive and go to the mechanic until the car is broken down. But you have to do that before that happens. And they have to check it thoroughly and say, okay, this guy is safe for you, another road user. So we got to be more intentional about all these things before we can see the fruit of our labor. So lastly, in times of war and calamity, only those who offer invisible assets that often help us to nurture us back to life and better experience through justice, compassion, and strength. So I hope this podcast has someone and I brought and it's come to the end just around 20 minutes gone. So until we meet again next week, please stay safe and continue to work on your invisible asset. 
see you next week and ciao